Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to configure IPv6 in your AWS VPC. Let's start by navigating to the VPC service, then hit the Create VPC button. Give your VPC a name, then select an IPv4 CIDR block. For IPv6 CIDR block, Select the Amazon provided option, then select default for tenancy. I'm going to select one for availability zone, one for public subnet, and one for private subnet. Since I don't want internet access in my private subnet, I'm going to select none for NAT gateway and no for egress only internet gateway. Hit create VPC then wait for the VPC workflow to complete. Click on subnets in the left menu and confirm that you see one public subnet and one private subnet for your project VPC. In your private route table, you should only see local routes and in your public route table, you should see both local routes and routes to the internet gateway. Click on Internet Gateways and you should see one Internet Gateway attached to your project VPC. Next, create a security group and give it a name. Give it a description, then select the project VPC from the VPC dropdown. In the Inbound Rules section, I'm going to add a rule for SSH from Anywhere IPv4 and SSH from anywhere IPv6. Let's also add a rule for ICMP from anywhere IPv4 and ICMP from anywhere IPv6. Click on the Create Security Group button, then navigate to the EC2 dashboard. Click on Instances, then hit Launch Instances. Give your instance a name, select an AMI, then click on Edit in Network Settings. Select Project VPC, then choose the Private Subnet. Select Disable for Auto-Assign Public IP and Enable for Auto-Assign IPv6 IP. Select the security group that we just created, then hit Launch Instance. Hit the Refresh button and you should see your private instance in pending state. Let's launch one more instance in our public subnet. In the network settings, select the project VPC and this time choose the public subnet. Enable auto assign public IP and IPv6, then select our security group. Hit launch instance, then click on refresh and you should see our new instance in pending state. For our public instance, you can see both our public IPv4 address and an IPv6 address attached to it. However, for our private instance, we only see the private IPv4 address and an IPv6 address. Next, let's SSH into our public instance using EC2 Instance Connect. I'm going to grab the IPv6 address of the private instance, then use the ping6 command to ping to that server over ICMP v6. Looks like it was successful. Now watch what happens if I go back to our security group and delete the ICMP v6 rule. This time, if I try to ping our private server, I get 100% packet loss. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.